Hello, y'all, and welcome to another edition of the TechTube Guy Reels. Uh, today, I'm just basically doing a DVD and Blu-ray update of everything that I picked up in the past week or have received in the mail. Um, I just wanted to take this time to apologize for the video slowing down a bit. Uh, the overtime's kicked in and I've been a little tired. But um, again, I wanted to say thank you to all the new subscribers and to all my buddies that uh, post their comments, suggestions, you know, and the, and the great conversations that, you know, that we have about film. Um, and with that said, uh, let's get to the update. Okay, I have about uh, 14 DVDs here of three Blu-rays and a box set. Uh, I'm going to start with the Blu-rays first. Um, today I picked up um, Date Night with uh, Steve Carell and Tina Fey. I saw this in the theater. I thought it was a great film. Um, pretty funny and it, you know, somewhat of a departure for uh, Mark Wahlberg to be in a comedic role. I really enjoyed this film. Uh, if you haven't seen it, you should check it out. Um, a classic that I love, um, probably out of all the vacation movies, is uh, National Lampoon's European Vacation. Um, this is probably my second one, right behind the Christmas uh, episode. Um, I just thought this was the most hilarious thing. You know, uh, Eric Idle's in it. Um, you know, of course, um, the kids in this one make it real funny. Uh, especially the Eiffel Tower scene, the best. Check it out. And the last Blu-ray I picked up was uh, Death at a Funeral with Martin Lawrence and Chris Rock. Now, I, I got to see this as well in the cinema, and this is just a hilarious film. Um, Peter Dinklage, uh, the short guy in this film, I, it, that whole scene is just the best comedy scene in the whole film. Um, if you haven't seen this, I recommend this one. It's, it, it's got a lot of laughs in it. Okay, now on to the DVDs. Um, these are some Criterions that I had picked up that had come in the mail, actually. And um, first I is spine number 77, uh, Brigitte Bardot and Roger Vadim's And God Created Woman. I opened it, and I was going to watch it the other night, but of course I fell asleep. But um, I've not heard much about this film, but really interested in seeing it. And of course, you know, it just helps to add to my collection. Uh, spine number 236 is Pier Paolo Pas Pasolini uh, film Mama Roma. Now I did I did get to catch this on uh, Turner Classic Movies uh, about two months back and this is a fantastic film. Anna Magnani gives the performance of a lifetime. I know uh, other people will say uh, her performance in The Rose Tattoo with Burt Lancaster was her best performance. Um, but I really believe this to be more um, a gut-wrenching, more um, heartfelt, you know, more of a tear-jerking role than that was more comedic. But I, I, I think this is, she's, she's really in her prime in this film right here. And, and if you haven't seen it, I highly suggest this one. It's, it's a great film. Check it out. Uh, next film I picked up was one that I saw on a buddy's list, and I, I believe that's... Uh, Jesus, Mr. Joel 450. Uh, he had mentioned this one being a good one. Uh, spine number 141, and that's uh, Marcel Carnes, uh Children of Paradise. I'm not sure if I'm saying that last n name right. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I'm real interested in checking this one out. And if anybody's seen it, let me know how this is. Okay, the next I picked up is a box set uh, from Carl Theodore Dreyer, and it has about uh, four films in it, um, and it has uh, Day of Wrath, Ordet, Gertrude, and uh, a documentary type film called My, My, Mitre. Um, these are what the cases look like. And I haven't seen any of these films either, so if anybody's um, seen any of these films, let me know how they are. Uh, uh, I believe he's a German filmmaker. Um, I have a few German films, but I, I'd like to know how these are if you've seen them. Now next is uh, was my big lot uh, shopping spree. I had just gone the other day, and they had a, a ton of films, uh, cycled in some new films, and so I picked them up. And, and a couple of a uh, couple of them I've seen uh, 
uh, from other people's collections on here that they said they picked up at Big Lots, so that's what drove me to go. But I picked up, um, I've never had this in my collection, and I wish I had gotten the Anchor Bay release, uh, but that's uh, Supergirl. Three bucks. And then uh, w while I was on the Superman, Supergirl kick, um, I picked up, went ahead and picked up the deluxe edition of Superman 3. I only had one in part one and part two in my collection, so this rounds it out. I have no interest in part four. Next, I picked up one of the Paul Newman film series, and that's the film The Outrage, uh, Western, Paul Newman. Can't go wrong with that. Um, I had This is the film I had seen on uh, somebody else's list. I'm sorry I don't remember your name, uh, but it's, it looked like an interesting horror film with Mark Helgenberger for, from CSI, and that's After Midnight. Um, got a skeleton holding an axe on the back. That looks pretty interesting, so maybe this weekend. I have a three-day weekend coming up, so I plan on watching some films. I know I say that all the time, but this time I mean it. Uh, next, I picked up a horror double feature. I'd also seen this on somebody else's list, and that's uh, Village of the Damned with Children of the Damned. Um, I've seen Village of the Damned, pretty good film. I'm a George Sanders fan, and he's he stars in that film. Um, but Children of the Damned, I haven't seen, but I, I have heard that it's, it's not as good as the original. All right, this next one is a comedy double feature, and this was a friend from work was a little bit surprised when he found out that I hadn't seen these films or didn't have them in my collection. And much to my surprise, they just happened to be available at Big Lots uh, this month, and that's Arthur uh, with Arthur Two on the Rocks. Never seen them. Uh, like I said, plan on watching them sometime, but my, my, my backlog, viewing backlog is backlog. I uh, don't know when I'm going to get around to it. Um, the next film I picked up is uh, THX 1138, the George Lucas director's cut. Now, I have seen this film. Uh, I, I, I think it's an excellent film, uh, one of George Lucas' uh, early works, if not his first. Um, I like the minimalist uh, aspect to this film. It's a great film. Uh, also, Donald Pleasance is in it with... Um, Robert Duvall, that's it. Um, just a great film, uh, science fiction. All right, the next one I picked up is a horror film from Raw Feed called Sublime. They had this, one, the rated and the unrated version, but Idiot Me picked up the wrong one. If anybody's seen that, let me know how it is. I've seen it in a few people's collections. Next is a horror double feature with um, It in the Shuttered Room. Uh, Roddy McDowell, Gig Young, Kara Lindley. Um, I just love these this era of, of you know of 60s, late 50s, 60s horror films. Um, it's it was just a great time. Next one I picked up, and it's a full screen edition of Jaws, the 30th anniversary edition. And I only picked this up uh, for the booklet that's involved uh, included in this. I already have this DVD, but. I wanted the uh, collector's booklet with uh, with all the photos in it. It was only five bucks. And the last film I picked up was a uh, cult uh, camp classic uh, for three bucks, and it stored, stars Lana Turner and Richard Egan, and that's called The Big Cube. Now, I believe I'd seen part of this a while back on Turner Classic Movie, but my DVR cut off, and I was, wasn't able to finish it, so... Now I'll be able to finish it. I was really surprised to see this one on the shelves. Um, and that's about it for uh, my update of what I picked up or what's come in the mail this week. Again, thank you to all my new subscribers and, of course, all my old subscribers. And when I say old, I don't, I don't mean that in a negative way. Um, and I really want to uh, thank all my you know, really, really close YouTube friends, and you all know who you are, um, that I talk to on a regular basis that I... I take pleasure in, in, in talking to everybody, but uh, these people con uh, contact me a lot, and uh, we have some pretty good conversations. So I just want to say, again, thank you to all of you for tuning in, leaving your comments, your suggestions, uh, your support. Uh, it means a lot. And until next week or my next video, um, which I'm not sure when that'll be, but take it easy.